another sucky day on the banks in the Caicos. So it's supposed to calm down overnight. Uh, we had not calm winds. We probably had anywhere from 15 steady to 25 knots all night. Uh, and the uh, swells wrapped around the island, so it was a pretty sleepless night. We got up this morning and the weather forecast, of course, was 10 knots, 10 to 15, with the seas having died down. But of course, the weather forecasts are all wrong. So we're running with, you know, 15 to 25 knots of wind again today and big seas. And because the sun won't stay out from behind the clouds, we're doing a lot of peering to make sure we don't hit any coral heads as we try to make it into the marina. So, um, all in all, I am not having fun. Pulled up anchor the day before in Coburn Harbor to motor sail over to Six Hill Cay for the night. This would allow us enough time on Saturday to cross the Caicos Bar to Caicos Marina. A north front from the U.S. is coming in with high winds, and while well, we had a dinghy to repair, a vet visit to schedule, a parcel to pick up, and a few things on the boat to do. So we decided a dock was a perfect spot to get a few things done while we wait for the winds to come through. After a six hour motor sail from Six Hills to Caicos Marina, we pull in at high tide and secure gargoyle to the dock. Tomorrow we'll start the to-do list and run some errands on Provo. Okay, so Kevin is diligently working on the protein tank this morning. Um, if you recall, when we sailed from the Caymans to the Turks, we lost our propane and uh, we're doing some troubleshooting and low pressure can be one of the issues when our sensor goes off and if we go in here you'll notice we're under 50 pounds of pressure so Kevin's going to change the tank so we're going to see if maybe it's a tank issue and uh, then we'll start to do our troubleshooting new tank and we're back up to over 100 psi so um yeah well, almost 140 130. Yeah. yeah i think they damaged the valve on that uh, tank when they filled it uh in panama using an adapter because we had uh we had to get it filled there and panama does not use the same uh, valves that we use in North America and they use adapters and we had to send it away to get it filled and when it came back that's the situation so we'll take it into the propane depot here in Provo and see if they can fix our valve hey careful it's slippery you <laughs> almost fell off the, <laughs> the boat what are you doing I'm putting it in reverse <laughs> I did are we recording we are recording yeah you missed it you had the camera on my ass slipped off the back of the boat as I was loading stuff in and I did the bridge. Okay, hang on. Carla didn't bring sunglasses. Carla is like the most disorganized person on the entire planet, I swear to God. For a woman with 5,000 pairs of sunglasses she never puts away, you never have one. Well, that's because you keep losing them. Oh, what do they do? They, The cats eat them? <laughs> Look, there's the queen of denial. She's coming back. Carla Patra. <laughs> the queen of denial. The queen of denial. Here we go. Uh, so we are at Provo Gas. And uh, hopefully they can figure out what's wrong with our propane tank. Master and Commander, who doesn't have a mask on. So he's hoping they got a, a fix for us. Okay, so, um, you see it was empty. So, he's 
gonna do some work on it right now. I mean, we learned something new today, that flies love the smell of propane. Flies are loving it. So was it empty or? Yeah, it's empty. It's empty now? Yeah. Okay. When we got the cats uh, vaccinated in the Cayman Islands, one of the vaccinations we requested, of course, was a rabies shot. And when the vets came on board, they said, oh, sorry, we can't do that. So we are going to subject these guys to another vet visit today and they're going to get their rabies shots because it's something that they're definitely going to need, especially if we head to the east to Europe. They're going to need to be vaccinated so that we can get Bermuda to do some paperwork before we go to Portugal. Good boy. Good job. He's like, I don't feel harassed. I'm getting massaged. <coughs> I rather like this. Mm -hmm. You're a bit chunky, but you're real cute. <laughs> How dare you not listen to my angry squeeze. I'm a, I like to talk. I know you're full of talk because you're way too cute. Yeah. Take just a brief pause between <laughs> the owls so I can hear your heart. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Angry cats are Samantha. just cute. Uh, Sammy, what are you doing though, good bit, huh? I'm what's sucking their on? souls out with my eyes. And from real. <laughs> I thought Carla was out here doing the dinghy, but instead she's doing her fingernails in the dinghy. How about that? I take it you've already done the dinghy? I've already cleaned the dinghy, but I figured I'd clean my nails while I was waiting for you to come up with the camera. Okay, so our seat sits here. Um, and when we were towing the dinghy, it came out. Closely. Small wear here. It's not quite through, but we're going to patch it anyways. Then we have the hole right there. So um, I've already cleaned it with acetone and, uh, and sand this down and sand that down. And then these guys are supposed to be an inch all the way around the hole. So the smaller one for this guy and then this big one. For the big one. Big guy. Sanded, non sanded. You can kind of see the difference. Yep. So now we're going to do this guy. Okay, so it's clean now, it's sanded. Um, I've just done a really quick outline of where the patch is going to go, just so I don't put epoxy all the way around the boat um, so that it's ready to go. I might give it one more clean with acetone just to make sure. And I've done the same on this one with a quick small circle. What are we doing today, huh? 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 What are we doing today? <clears throat> we are making a, a 4,000th run into this little bitty town. Why? Because the glue that came with our dinghy and the repair kit had turned to jello. So it ain't working. So we've got to go find some kind of an adhesive so we can patch our Achilles dinghy. Mm hmm. And we have a rental car again for the again, third time. For a third time. Because a rental car is cheaper than one taxi ride in this crazy place. Of course the glue is bad because we can't find any. <coughs> <laughs> Language, Mr. Nash. Language. Oh, the last thing I want to do is go back into Provo again. I'm tired of Provo. I'm tired of Provo. I'm tired of Provo. So because our dinghy is not working, we have asked the marina to come and pick us up because there's no way to get to the docks. And here comes Plex, our superhero. Um, so, the package on? that we're waiting for is getting cleared through customs. So we're hoping, fingers crossed, we can pick it up today. And the guys at South Bank here have done an amazing job phoning other boat yards and we think we might have our CSM glue at another spot. So we're gonna go for a drive and uh, in the meantime, wait for some phone calls. Let's go buy some cheap beer. Cheap beer. I there soon is, reach. There we'll is go to no the, such this, thing. We'll go to the brewery and I'll drink cheap beer. I'll try some more cheap beer. But I have to drive, that's not fair. No, no, I know. If I can. We have the magic ingredients to do the dinghy and we are in this I don't know, kind of boatyard 
boat, fixed boat rental place. Um, but they were nice enough to sell us some of their supplies. So we've got everything we need to fix our dinghy now. Now we just need to find out about our package. I'll show you my package when we get yeah, home. Yeah, okay. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. So after quite the hunt, we found we found Adam Foster, who is the general manager here at the marina, found for us the exact stuff we need. So Carla is in the dinghy and she has all of her tools. You have your brush? Yeah. And she's getting ready to apply the first of the three oh, coatings. Look. What? There's like, like yeah. a tiny, tiny bit That's the there. stuff you need like two drops of, right? Yeah. Wow, fifty dollars for this. Anyway, we said it was like gold, so it's like gold, it must baby. Be like gold. Okay, Carlos, applied the first coating of the six million dollar a gallon solution, and we wait five minutes for it to cure. Adhesive on. Adhesive off. Adhesive on. Adhesive off. So you apply two coats to the dinghy body itself and to the patches and let those dry and then once those are dry about five minutes each then you apply a third coat to both while it's still sticky and tacky you then press the shit out of them or press them together so that you can make them adhere that's going to be the tricky part here i'm afraid it's slowly getting so she's applying these patches. I had to go turn the timer off so you couldn't hear it in the background. So now she's going to take a spoon and she's going to, I believe the technical term he said was mash the shit out of it. <laughs> so technically she's just mashing the crap out of it. I think this is going to work really well. And since this is the one with the whole end, this is the one that's going to get the most mashing and spreading. So it's basically like you're putting um, one of those uh, covers on your cell phone screen and you have to kind of press out all the bubbles. And that's what Carla's doing now with the back of a tablespoon. Oh, the crowd's going wild here in the stadium. Look at her go. But the key will be if we come out tomorrow and they're still adhered. Or if we come out tomorrow and they're both laying in the bottom of the dinghy, we'll be like, well, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time we've had that happen to us on a repair. I don't think we'll say, well, shit, either. <laughs> and just dragging the spoon across this to try to get all the bubbles out. I kind of like this a little bit better because there's some glue on the outside, whereas this one you don't see the glue, but I guess you do at the bottom. And this one looks prettier. I'm just nervous it's not going to... But this probably had like five minutes of me on it so it should be set by now so i guess we'll find out tomorrow if it's set or not right right yay yeah i think it's gonna work <laughs> so carla is making an early dinner this evening because last night we patched the dinghy and 24 hours later which will be after six o'clock we're going to see if it'll hold air. We're gonna pump it up in the dark so that if it doesn't pump up, we won't disappoint. <laughs> I'm already disappointed. No, it's gonna work. It looks good, doesn't it? Yeah, no, the patches look really good. It's just when there's pressure on them, what will happen. I think you're just cutting onions, so the crying. So when I start to cry, yeah. I can blame the onions? Exactly. Exactly what I'm doing. I was very excited. Are you excited about getting to blow the dinghy up? No, I'm really nervous. So I think we should wait. Okay. Until maybe, maybe tomorrow morning we should blow up the dinghy. That'll give it like another extra 12 hours to cure. So it'll be like super stuck. So then we'll just throw it on the back of the boat and take it over the other dock with us. Yeah, we'll just throw it on the forward deck. Time's up early this morning. I am up early this morning. Today's just the dinghy patch day. It moved the boat.
Some audio trouble here, but the good news is the patches are holding well. We move Gargoyle over to the gas dock for tomorrow morning's departure, and at sunset, Griffin, aka Brad, was still looking good. Our task list is finally done. Um, something good. It's like that uh, radio. Radio? Anyways, what are we doing today? Uh, we are getting out of the marina. We have we have our package. Our package got here. We have the all the crap we ordered is here. I can't remember what we ordered. We ordered some stuff. It's all here. We have beer and Wine. we have everything we need. We're getting out of Dodge. Time to head over. We're thinking about anchoring over by either West Caicos or more likely around the north northwest point since it's calm off Amanyar Resort. Um, let's see if we can see Justin and Haley if they're still there. Justin. <laughs> Other than that, we'll go hang out and chillax. How are we getting there? How are we getting there? Yeah, what are we gonna do? We're How are gonna we gonna navigate the infamous Caicos Bank? We are going to go across towards Sepadillo Bay and then you make a turn into what they call the Sandbor Channel, which is a relatively clear channel as well. So we'll run the Sandbor Channel out. Uh, and then that spits you out over there on that north uh, west side of the islands. And then if we go to the south, we go to West Caicos. If we go to the north, we go to Northwest Point, which is where I think we want to go because that's really the direction we're going and likely have the better anchorage. We're leaving because it's Monday today. And as you can see, they are doing lots of construction on the marina. So this is when it gets really noisy. Oh, and what else did we do this morning? What did we do this morning? We had a call with uh, Danny and Marvin Nomad. and Tara on uh, a sailing Nomad Citizen over in Portugal. And we were finding out about the scene in Portugal as well as the Mediterranean cruising. So a wonderful call there. More on that later. All right, ready to go? Ready to go, sure. Clouds, Carla. Video, random video of nothing. Oh wait, we call this B-roll, but Carla never uses any of my B-roll I shoot. Well, look at that, Miss Universe. So, what's Carla's drinking? She's acting goofy. I'm not, I feel like I need a drink though. I do, I need another I soon reach. I soon reach? I soon reach. I soon reach for what? I soon reach for another beer. No. More B-roll, more B-roll.